Nature is full of amazing spectacles, but few are as impressive as the migration of the monarch butterfly. Experts define it as one of the most striking migratory processes in the animal kingdom. Stay with us on this journey as Animal Wise tells you all about these beautiful insects. When does monarch migration begin? Characterized by its black, white and orange wings, the monarch butterfly stands out as one of the insects that most defies the logic of biology, with only the migratory subspecies making such an amazing journey. The migration begins around mid to late August as autumn approaches in North America. It is at this time that the birds in eastern North America, between Canada and the United States, begin their journey. The route covers more than 4,000 kilometers, a truly astonishing distance for such a fragile animal undertaking a perilous journey. Between September and October, monarch butterflies enter Mexico and arrive in the center of this country in early November, where they will spend several months. They spend the winter in the north of the same country, where they return to reproduce. Why do they migrate? The answer is twofold, cold and food. Monarch butterflies hatch in late summer or early fall in Canada and the United States, facing an imminent drop in temperatures. If they remain, their newly hatched caterpillars will not survive. During their larval stage, monarch caterpillars rely exclusively on one plant for food, milkweed, also known as Asclepias. This plant is seasonal and unavailable during the winter, turning the north into a lifeless wasteland for the next generation. Faced with this threat, monarch butterflies born in autumn have a mission – to migrate. They enter what is known as reproductive diapause, halting the development of their reproductive organs. Instead of reproducing, they channel all their energy in a single direction – flight. Interestingly, while common monarch butterflies only live for about a month, those that begin their migration are a special breed. They are known as the Methuselah generation. Thanks to their reproductive diapause, they are able to live up to nine months. By the way, you can find other interesting facts about butterflies in the video that we share on the card above and in the description. How long does monarch migration take? The entire migration lasts approximately nine months, completing a life cycle, two months of intense travel south, around five months of hibernation in their winter shelters, and finally, two months for the return journey north where they will breed. Ultimately, what's fascinating about this migration is that no single butterfly makes the entire journey from beginning to end. It's a multi-generational phenomenon. The generation that travels south won't be the one to return north. Their daughters or granddaughters will. It's a vital chain that spans generations, with each generation knowing the way without anyone showing them. So, what's the migratory path? Migration originates in Canada and the eastern United States, ending in central Mexico, passing through various Mexican states such as Nuevo León, Hidalgo and Michoacán, among others. Intermediate stops include protected areas, biosphere reserves and national parks. When they reach central Mexico, they settle in Oyamel fir forests at about 3,000 metres above sea level in a cold but safe environment suitable for spending the winter. In spring, they turn around. Those that rested begin to reproduce and their offspring complete the cycle by returning north. Threats and Conservation Despite their astonishing tenacity, the monarch butterfly's migratory phenomenon is threatened. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has classified the migratory subspecies as endangered. These are the three main threats. Deforestation, which destroys winter shelters, the use of pesticides and herbicides which eliminates milkweed, the only plant where caterpillars can be born and feed, and finally, climate change. Droughts affect milkweed growth and increased wildfires cause early migrations, disrupting the butterfly's arrival and the availability of their food source. Furthermore, extreme weather events kill millions of them each year. And there you have it, a journey of over 4,000 kilometers without a compass, without GPS, relying solely on an instinct honed over generations. The monarch butterfly reminds us that nature still holds incredible mysteries and that it's up to us to preserve them. If its story has captivated you, please share it. Every time someone learns about this phenomenon, they help ensure it continues. Don't forget to leave a comment telling us what impressed you most about monarch butterfly migration. If you want to learn more about wild and exotic animals, don't miss the playlist we share here. We'll see you next time.